All my life, when playing video games, I have used cheat codes. Partly because I always like being better than everyone else, and partly because my brother always told me, if you're not cheating, then you're not trying. Which is something I have scrupulously passed on to all of my students. I cheated so much, I had Game Genies and a subscription to Nintendo the magazine just to stay up to date on the newest shortcuts for games that I would never even play. So when I discovered Apathy, which is a cheat code for life, I used the shit out of that code. I checked out of high school my life. I stopped listening or caring or thinking or deciding. I did whatever came my way. And it wasn't until I found myself at 26 with two degrees, a wife, and a career that I finally stopped skipping levels. I was talking with some friend of a friend, and they asked me what I did for a living. I was like, I'm a high school English teacher, blah, blah, blah. And they are like, but you're really teaching them about life through the great Gatsby. And I was like, fuck no, I'm not teaching them about life. I'm teaching them about, like, maybe symbolism and how to properly look down on somebody who doesn't come from money that's old as balls. But they said it so sincerely. They said, you're helping them discover who they are and what they love and what they want to do for the rest of their life. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> fuck. I can affect these kids. And it was then that I realized I had responsibilities, and not just in my career, but I had a wife and friends and other obligations I hadn't consciously thought about for 10 years. I realized the worst thing for somebody playing with cheat codes. I actually gave a shit. And I understood that there's a difference between skipping levels and meeting them legitimately, and nothing in my life was legitimate. I went to college because family friends assumed I would. I majored in English because my counselor assumed I would because I liked reading. I got married because that's what fucking high school sweethearts do. I even started teaching because somebody said, so what do you do with a degree in English and a minor in writing? Do you teach high school? And I was like, I guess I fucking do. <laughs> But I didn't know who I was. I knew my Facebook profile data, 26, married, teacher, in a band, hobbies include reading, writing, music, don't do any drugs or drink. But I didn't know the man that that data made. So I started making decisions for the first time. At first, poor ones, like hurting myself. But it's hard not to. It's hard not to when you can't communicate how you feel because you don't understand how you feel because you suddenly just realize you feel. And your body is so good at understanding desperation. But I care, so I made more choices. I started writing more. I shut myself in a closet to write a poem and I stayed in it for a summer writing a novel. When I emerged, I renewed my efforts as a teacher because somehow I did not manage to fuck that up. I actually really like teaching, which scares me because I'm never as good at it as I believe I should be. So I work harder at it, which scares me even more because I'm not sure if I'm giving myself away or finding myself because I still don't fucking know myself. So I've been making more choices. And I still know my Facebook profile that at 26, teacher, divorced, writer, and no, I still don't know what those things make me, but I'm trying to be okay with that. I'm still alive, and I have hopes again, like when I was 10, and yes, I'm scared that hoping is going to lead me back to using cheat codes or that I'll quit playing altogether, but it's nice and the fear makes me do things that I actually care about. And it's nice knowing that I'm legitimate for once in my life. It's nice knowing that I'm not using cheat codes anymore.